Well, here we are, early August. Today I'm gonna be planting this uh, area behind me in Nebraska's. This was an area that we no-tilled corn into this really low, swampy, wetter field. But since we, <clears throat> since it's pretty wet here, we had some heavy rains and it kind of flooded out this section of the corn. There was a few stalks in there that I mowed down. Over there on the end, you can see it grew pretty good. We didn't really, I didn't upload any videos of this or get much footage. So that's why you didn't see an earlier video of this. Um, plus, as you can tell, I probably should have mowed down more of the corn. Up here, it's pretty sporadic too. It's pretty messy looking. But anyways, this area I'm gonna be planting today in Nebraska's, and as well as that area right there. That's just some later planted soybeans. Um, I also will be putting in a strip on the other side of that corn. I did it last year too. That's gonna be no-tilled. Um, it worked out great last year there. I probably could, I could legit no-till all this too, but I just wanna compare the results. Plus there's a whole bunch of weeds, tiny little weeds. Over there, it's about waist high to chest high weeds that I'm gonna be putting brassicas into today. And this area, I'm gonna be um, broadcasting some fertilizer. I'm gonna do that right now before I disc. Over there, um, I'm probably gonna uh, broadcast the same fertilizer when the plants are about a couple inches to maybe ankle high. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. This area and this area, I'm all gonna disc up here in a little bit once I get the fertilizer down that area. I'm just gonna cult pack it all down and spray it after I seed it. So it should work out great. This is just gonna be a really good comparison between um, these two spots. This the exact same soil right here and right over there. So it should be a really good comparison. Same soil, same conditions, everything. So no till versus tillage. We'll see what works out the best. everything all really nice worked up you can see this soil is very very high in organic matter I think when we did the soil sample it was at like 10 or 11 percent um, some of our other fields were only at like two percent so this stuff is really black so you can see it's pretty loose so I think I'm gonna cult pack everything before I seed and then cult pack again because there's all these big like furrows from the disc kind of and when I run the culture pack over here the first time, it's going to really cover everything up. So I'm going to pack everything down, and then I'm going to seed it, and then I'm going to pack it down again. Alright, so I forgot to mention, in this plot and the other spot, I'm going to be broadcasting a few soybeans, just a few, as later planted soybeans so they stay green until we get like the first frost. Um, so I'm just going to lightly broadcast those in. Then I'm going to cult pack because that should work in the beans a little bit because like I said, this soil is so loose right now. And then after I cult pack, I'll put my brassicas down and then I'm going to cult pack again to kind of pack and hold everything in place. All right, as you can tell, two plants there, another seed there, nothing, two more there couple there so I got them pretty thin I don't want them too thick obviously because then they're just gonna be competing with the brassicas and these beans I'm putting in this late they're not gonna produce anything for pods they're just green until the first frost they'll be you know pretty attractive until then well everything's all packed down good it covered up about half to two-thirds of the soybeans. There's not many exposed, so they're going to grow good. Now, uh, now I'm going to broadcast the brassicas. Let's mix it up here.
All right, so this area right here behind me is the second spot I'm gonna be planting here today. Um, it looks like a complete mess. Those weeds are, some of those ones are close to seven feet tall. Um, I did the same method in the same exact spot last year with brassicas and it worked out phenomenal, except the weeds were a little bit shorter. But uh, when you get in there and look, there is really good seed to soil, I mean, soil exposure, so I should get really good seed to soil contact. There's absolutely no thatch layer at all and uh, it's just basically bare soil underneath all these tall weeds. So when I broadcast my brassicas in there, all the seeds are going to fall right on top of the soil. And then when I crush everything over, it'll basically pretty much half kill everything because it's going to snap off a lot of those weeds. But I'm going to come back and spray it um, after I'm done crushing it over to get a complete kill. Otherwise, I won't get any, any success on this food plot at all if I don't spray it. But anyways, that's why crushing it down once all this stuff dies off and starts to kind of decompose, you won't even be able to tell this stuff was here um, two months from now when the brassicas are about, you know, maybe a foot and a half tall. All this dead thatch will just be underneath them. You won't even be able to tell that this was all just weeds at one time. It's just going to look like a, a normal looking food plot. This food plot will look just as good as that tilt spot. Alright, so here I am in the six foot tall weeds, looking down at the ground here. You can see right here's two seeds, there's a soybean, another seed, a few more seeds right there, a couple soybeans, and another seed right there. So yeah, they're down here. Now the plan is just to crush everything and spray it, and it should work out like it did last year. Well, here we are. This is just a few days after planting. Not quite a week. I'm, I'm, I'll have it up on the screen. I'm not sure how many days this is after, but we just got a ton of rain the last two days and these brass, because they're starting to germinate, it's starting to look out, look pretty good. Looking down here at the ground, you can see them. Looks like I got pretty good um, spacing, not too thick. So hopefully they should get pretty big and grow, grow to their full potential. You can see I got a plant here, plant here, plant right there. Another one right there, I guess one right there, one up there, so looks like it's just about right for the spacing, so like I said, they should get pretty pretty nice sized. I'll have to update you when they're a little bigger, maybe like a week or two from now, so see you then I guess. Over here in the no-till section, um, it looks like the germination is a little bit slower, it's a little harder to find the plants out here, just because there's so much... Uh, covering everything up but over here I can actually see a few soybeans I did soybeans over in the other spot too but I wonder if uh, turkeys or something just nipped them all off because they're so much easier to find in here the soybeans are kind of camouflaged in better like these ones I'm thinking that's what happened over there but I'm not really too worried about getting soybeans to grow in here I just want the brassicas to do, the brassicas to do well you can tell and I'm, I'm expecting maybe a little bit slower growth on this area but I think in the long run this the no-till section will catch up to the tilled up area and all right so here we are it's uh it's been a little bit since I updated you guys on this probably a little bit too long um it's a it's a weedy mess look at this this is nuts so you can see the spacing I remember right after these um, brassicas germinated 
you could see the spacing was perfect. Um, I, I put these in super thin and I really thought it was going to turn out good, but then a couple days later, I probably should have did an update or took a few pictures. You could see the brassicas, they were like maybe this tall and a whole bunch of millions of little weeds like this that are just, that were just starting and that's all this uh, water hemp and other stuff. It's, it's mainly all water hemp though. This is some really bad stuff. It's really hard to kill with Roundup or glyphosate and uh, it's just it really grows in this wet soil like crazy. You can see it all in there mixed in the corn. It's just some really bad stuff. But anyways, hopefully these brassicas, I mean, they're right about as tall as the water hemp. So they'll probably produce and grow and turn into some food, but these weeds are definitely gonna hold back their, uh, their growth quite a bit probably. So they're not gonna get nearly as big as what I thought. But uh, the good thing is, once we get the first frost, this water hemp dies like immediately from the first frost and it'll kind of it'll kind of clean up the plot and make the plot look better, but uh <laughs> kind of sucks that these plants are going to aren't going to get as big as I was hoping, but they'll still get decent size, I would say. Um and this is the plot that goes all the way out that way too, so basically all that wraps around this little island of corn right here and this is an area that the corn did not come in good at all. It flooded out and basically killed everything here but yeah got some brassicas in there but they're hard to see okay you can tell this plot looks a hundred times better this is planted the same day believe it or not just within a completely different method you can see this is all the old dead stocking material I did this exact same method here last year like I said earlier in the video and look at how much better the no-till turned out I mean the fact that you're able to just broadcast the seed right into all this weeds and all this big mess of weeds and crush it all down and spray it and look at pretty much everything green and growing is brassicas except a few patches of small weeds here and there. These weeds will probably catch up to the brassicas and do a little bit of damage on the plot but overall I'm really happy with how this plot has turned out. It might be a little bit over overseeded with the brassicas I didn't know how good it was going to you know, germinate with all basically six foot tall weeds. I did put in some soybeans in here and look at, they look pretty good too. So these soybeans will stay green all the way up until the, the first frost. So this will be kind of a good attractant with these really nice young tender beans here. Then you'll have the brassicas later in the season. But yeah, it's, it's looking to be like a nice little plot here. It's just a little strip right here. So... Like I said, I'll do one more update. Well, here we are. This is the weedy plot. <laughs> um, you can tell there's lots of brassicas in there. But uh, I, it didn't turn out as good as I was hoping. Like I said in the last update, the weeds just really filled in. The no-till plot looks phenomenal. I'll take you over there in just a little bit. This will be the last update in the video. I put lots of fertilizer on here too, so that's why these brassicas these ones on the edge here with less weed competition, man, they just look lush. I mean, those leaves are huge already. Here's a tillage radish. You can see the deer like to browse on these in early season, like I've said. Um, but all these forage rapes and kales, they won't even touch them until usually early November and then December, January, throughout the whole winter, they'll consume those. But you can see there's definitely decent growth from the brassicas. So I think once we get a couple hard frosts, it'll kill off all these weeds and the brassicas will just pop out. You'll be able to, it'll look like a much cleaner plot, um, but that won't be for a while yet. <laughs> Got a whole, almost a month left of growth here. So I'm sure it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse with the weeds. But uh, yeah, overall it's gonna turn into some food for the deer. Got a bunch of soybeans there. This is an area with the brassicas and beans mixed right here. And you can see it kind of wraps around. This is that wet plot, like I said. Over here, I guess it looks like the weeds are a little shorter. Brassicas are a little small over here too. Maybe the, I guess they look pretty good over there. Yeah, I'll take you over the no-till plot. This is enough showing this pretty crappy looking plot. Okay, so right here's the no-till spot. You can see there's a lot less weeds in here. Deer browse on a tillage radish. Weeds are definitely coming in, but the brassicas got a pretty good head start. So I think uh, they should canopy over most of the weeds. 
overall these brassicas over here actually look a little weaker they got a lot of yellowish leaves on the so I think uh, this plot is definitely lacking this area is definitely lacking more nutrients I did end up coming through here and when the brassicas were just a few inches tall I broadcasted the same fertilizer like I said over there I broadcasted it the day of planting so I guess I probably should have did it the day of planting over here too um, because I know, like I said, in many of my videos, our soil is really low in the potash and uh, phosphorus. Phosphorus and potassium, I should say. Um, but yeah, up here in the corner, they seem to always turn out a little bit better. It's a little higher ground here than what it is down there. And all along the edge, they turn out pretty good too. But the main thing is just getting the weeds under control. You can see up here, there's the old dead stocky material of these six foot tall weeds. And... There's a hardly any weeds coming back. It's just uh, all brassicas. The soybeans didn't turn out good at all either. They ain't, the deer ain't even gonna browse this, as yellow as that is. It's because, like I said, it's lacking the potassium or phosphorus. But the brassicas seem to handle it a little, the nutrients deficiency a little better than the beans do. All those little yellow things are the beans out there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, this video and. I don't know if I'll get this one out first. I got two Braska videos I gotta get out soon. Um, but yeah, this is just a really cool comparison of the no-till versus the tillage. And I do agree the no-till ones, I mean the tilled, the tilled up ones, they grew faster from the start. And if the weeds were under control in that field, they would look better than the no-till plot right now. But uh, I think the no-till plot is gonna actually turn out better in the long run because there's a lot less weeds in here. But as of right now, those plants over in the tilled up area with, mixed amongst the weeds do actually look better and they have bigger leaves. But uh, both plots turned out all right. But I think the no-till is the way to go because you can really keep the weeds under control. And uh, if I had the uh, fertilizer down in here earlier, I think these ones would look just as tall as those ones over there. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, Catch you next time. I got a winter rye video coming out soon too probably, so that'll be out within September hopefully.